All right, let's talk about Samsung DeX today. This is an amazing feature which was made available in 2017 on Samsung's flagship S8 series. And that was the beginning of desktop experience on a bigger screen or a monitor through a mobile phone's operating system. Since then, we have seen a huge transformation of this incredible feature. It all started with a DeX station, which is a docking station offered by Samsung as a separate accessory to use DeX, which costed almost about $100 to $150. That was a pretty expensive affair, but then in 2018, after the legendary Note 9 launch, Samsung eliminated the need of docking station and introduced DeX HDMI adapter, which costed much lesser than the docking station. Even then, it was a separate accessory to buy and not many of us really bought it. Of course, some third-party adapters worked as well. Even then, the DeX feature was not that popular. After this, another huge transformation happened. Samsung enabled their phones to offer DeX connectivity through a USB Type-C cable. We could just download and install DeX software on Windows and Mac OS, connect our Type-C cable to open DeX on the monitor. This was a welcome change to the DeX experience. Without spending on the additional accessories, we could use DeX very effectively. After all this, we finally saw a big upgrade in the form of wireless DeX in 2020. I was actually thinking about this wireless DeX since the day this feature was launched in 2017 and I'm sure most of you would have thought about the same. Now we have One UI 2.5 running on most newer devices which offers Samsung wireless DeX. I don't think this was impossible for Samsung to launch this wireless DeX feature since the day one. Maybe they just wanted to reserve it for flagships and sell more accessories and perhaps they failed and here we are having wireless DeX feature running even on the older flagships today. This is just my thoughts. You are free to leave your thoughts in the comment section below. All right, that's about the transformation. Now let's talk about how practical it is to use Samsung DeX and does it make any sense at all? If you ask me, it definitely does. Irrespective of wireless DeX or a USB connected DeX, it's certainly a great feature which can transform your Android operating system into a fully blown PC or a desktop. This is like a dream come true for a lot of tech enthusiasts who wanted to have this kind of a feature on a phone. I would prefer a wired DeX to connect to a monitor because there is no lag. If I connect it to my laptop, I can use the mouse without any additional attachments or accessories. Just plug in and open the application and we are good to go. But if you want to connect this to a TV monitor, wireless DeX definitely comes in handy. And on TV monitor, I don't think you would prefer working on an Excel or PowerPoint. This would be more of multimedia consumption, like you want to watch a video or photo from your phone. I don't use this wireless DeX feature on TV monitor for anything other than media consumption. Maybe it's just me. When we establish a wireless connection on TV, we can just play the content and continue doing whatever we are doing on the phone. We can use loads of gestures on the phone which acts as a touchpad. Even for a PowerPoint presentation, it is really useful. Now let's talk about using DeX on a laptop or a PC. Here we can connect it wirelessly as well as using a USB Type-C cable. I would rather prefer a USB connection due to the fact that I can use the mouse or laptop touchpad to access the DeX screen. And here the experience is just incredible. Just plug in the cable, the system will recognize the device and opens DeX app which you have installed on your PC. Your phone will ask you to start DeX, just select start and that's it, you are good to go. We have a separate DeX window with One UI where we can access everything available on the phone. The interface is very intuitive and user friendly. As you can see here, we have few applications on the desktop. You can add more applications here. You can add folders and just double click on the folder to open it. On the taskbar, we have got this app tray on the left hand side corner. We have got an option to open recently used applications. We have got home and back button as well. And on the right hand side of the taskbar, we have got keyboard, we have got volume control. We can also take a screenshot here, which is a nice touch. 
and we have got notifications quick setting panel as well and when you open this quick setting panel it looks exactly like the phone's quick setting panel if you're running on one ui 3.0 you also get an option for devices and media control on this quick panel itself Then we've got charging information and time as well. When you right click on the desktop, we have options like sort by, clean up page, screen zoom and wallpaper. So these are some customization option available for the desktop. And all the applications that you open will be available on the taskbar here. Multiple applications can be accessed at one go with multi-window support. Just look at this, I can open so many applications at one go and multitask within the One UI operating system. Many system applications and some of the third-party apps can be opened in full-size window and it can be resized as well. We can also easily move the files between your PC and phone by drag and drop feature which is fantastic. As you can see here, I can just open the gallery, minimize the decks window, drag the file from gallery to PC's desktop to transfer the file. That's easy, isn't it? For sure, this will come in handy. If you think you need a bigger font and bigger icons, just right click on the screen to see an option to zoom in or out. Let's say you want to edit MS Office files, you can do it in a Jiffy. Even editing a photo or video within the decks is even more easier when compared to editing it on the phone. Just open a video file or a photo, click edit option. Here you see all the editing tools on the right. This makes the editing process easier within the phone's ecosystem, isn't it? After all the work is done, if you want to switch back to your laptop screen, just hover the mouse pointer on top to minimize the dex window. That's cool, isn't it? All these things are so thoughtfully executed. Kudos to the brains behind Samsung dex feature. All right, we are almost done here. This is definitely a groundbreaking tech feature available for a phone and we all should make use of it. From a casual user to a professional, this feature is going to help a lot in our day-to-day -day activities. You guys let me know what do you think about this feature and also let me know to what extent you use this feature. Leave a comment, right? I would also request you to support the channel by pressing the subscribe and like button. That's all I have here. Thanks a lot for watching. You guys take care and stay safe. Until the next one. Cheers. Bye-bye.